हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू संगीता किचन डिलइट आई एम संगीता टूडे आई बी शेयरिंग अमेजिंग ऑरेंज अपसाइड डाउन केक हुई इज इन इजी प्रोसेस Without any further delay, let's jump onto the recipe. First, here I had taken one large orange. Now I'm going to slice it properly, and the slice should be nice and thin like this. By the way, if you want to follow me in Facebook and Instagram, you can just search it out. Sound Sangeeta's Kitchen Delight. You can follow me in there also. Just keep in mind, we have to slice this orange as thin as possible. and the next step is here i am going to take half cup of white sugar in a flat pan and after that i will add half cup of water also the water and the sugar always will be the equal quantity in this time just keep stirring and the heat would be medium until the sugar completely get dissolved after that i will add the orange slice one by one Just keep in mind each slice of orange should get proper sugar syrup. Let it cook in medium to low heat. In this time I'll prepare the cake tin. Here I'll be using a spring form tin which is of 26 cm. Now I'll place a baking paper in the bottom of the tin as I am using here a spring form tin. I don't need to put the baking paper on the sides. I will grease with oil only. And the next step is I will prepare the dry ingredient mixture. Here I had taken 2.5 cup of all-purpose flour, which is maida, in a shifter. And next, I am adding baking powder, 2.5 teaspoon for 2.5. cup of maida and the next is baking soda 1/4 teaspoon and i will add little bit of salt like one pinch of salt to bake a perfect cake all this measurement is very important now i'm giving a good mix with a spoon Meanwhile these orange slices are almost ready let me give you a closer look you can see this is quite transparent now this is the indication the orange slices are properly cooked now i'm going to turn off the heat and let it cool little bit In a big mixing bowl here I have taken two large egg and the next the egg should be properly beaten It will take almost 50 second around 50 second plus minus as I am using the electric beater but in case if you are doing in hand it will take more time until it gets frothy you have to beat the egg in the egg i had already added 1.5 cup of white sugar and now i am going to beat it until it gets creamy The next ingredient is butter. Here I had taken half cup of butter, which I am going to melt in microwave. This 
this melted butter should not be too much hot is just need to be melted only and then i need 1 cup of unflavored cooking oil you can use any unflavored oil and the next is orange extract here i will take 1 teaspoon of orange extract in case if you are using orange essence you just need few drop of that after that orange i am adding 1 cup of fresh orange juice now i'll mix it little bit so that it will get uniformly mixed And the next, I will add dry ingredient mixture which we have prepared earlier little by little. And in that time, I am not going to use any electric beater. I am using the normal hand spatula because if you beat this batter too much, the cake will not raise because this dry ingredient contains the raising agent like uh, baking powder, baking soda. So better to mix it by hand. The mixture is ready. It is completely smooth and velvety. Now in the baking thing, I am just going to place the all the orange slices which we have cooked already. I am adding the extra sugar syrup on top of the orange slices. Now time to add cake batter on top of the orange slices. Now gently tap the cake tin so that if there is any air pocket inside it will be completely removed. I have already preheated the oven at 180 degrees centigrade. Now I am going to bake these 50 to 60 minutes in 180 degrees centigrade. This time may vary oven to oven that's why I have mentioned it is 50 to 60. Once the baking is done, I just turn off the oven and keep the cake inside for another 5 minutes. Now let me insert a skewer to check the cake from the inside. Yes, the cake is properly baked. The skewer is completely clean now. Now I will cover this cake with a kitchen towel so that all the steam will absorb by the cake and the cake will be soft from inside. Once the cake is completely cool, now I am going to place a big plate and after that I will just turn it over. Now time to unmold the cake. Mm, a very nice aroma is coming out. Look at the texture and the color and it is so much flavorful of orange. It is so moist you can see that. I can't do it to cut the cake. Let me cut the cake first.
इट इज सो सॉफ्ट सो नाइस सो स्पंजी सो जूसी Just look at the texture of the cake. It is quite perfect, completely spongy, juicy, moist, full of flavor. Just make it in your home kitchen and let me show you how much spongy it is. And the taste was heavenly good. The taste was too much yummy. I hope you will like this recipe. If you like this recipe, please let me know in the comment section and if you are not still my subscriber, please subscribe my channel and give the press on the bell icon so that you will get a notification when I will upload a new recipe. I will be coming back with a new recipe very soon till then take care and bye. Thanks for watching till the end.